Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, good morning. Today we have had a very fruitful meeting, meeting between the SPLM, a uh, call upon by the Interim Secretary General, Comrade Peter Lambos, in the membership of the SPLM members, and also with the three ambassadors from Troika countries, the USA, the United Kingdom, and Norway. The meeting was specifically about the implementation of peace agreement, things where we need support and things that needed clarification. During the discussion, we have covered a lot of things and we agreed that we will be consulting with one another from time to time and that Troika is ready to help South Sudan uh, with the programs that are intended to build this nation. It was an open talk that we trusted each other and we have in fact come to a conclusion that it is possible to do things that are pending in the agreement. Uh, some of the challenges that were mentioned were pertaining to chapter 2 of the agreement, especially the forces and uh, that it is already something near to finishing because the forces are ready and they were decreed by the President of the Republic some two days back that they were going to be uh, graduated and that is very encouraging. Uh, small things like the big number of officers uh, and compared to small number of uh, soldiers in the I.O forces are challenging but they will also be resolved because there is a possibility. Uh, we will be communicating among ourselves, SPLM and IO, SPLM and other political parties because this country belongs to all of us. And it is good that also the first vice president who is also the chairman of the IO is very promising in the way that they will work hand in hand with his brother, uh, Comrade Salva Kirmayardis, the President of the Republic, so that they can not take this country back to war again. There was a situation of misunderstanding, miscommunication. We will be corrected uh, when we are able to communicate among ourselves at the presidential level and at all levels of political parties will prevent any rumors and any agitation, any misunderstanding will be eliminated because communication will be emphasized and we are going to do that. So this meeting uh, with the ambassadors from Troika is a very great turning point because it is the first time that we sat together and we talked and we are encouraging them to tell us where we are going wrong and also if we have any observation we can also tell them so we really uh, appreciate this meeting because Troika ambassadors have worked hard to see that South Sudan becomes what it is a nation, a free nation a nation of all South Sudanese without exception